Hello friends, the purpose of this clip is me selling this contraption. Uh, it was my first ever three axis gimbal. I used to love this thing so much. And I still do, but now I have that thing. Okay, let me explain. This is a 32 axis, uh, 32 bit gimbal. I don't know if you can see that. Um, initially it started as a like a little university project and it got developed into this fabulous machine it's got full focus made with a potentiometer an Arduino and this little uh, stepper motor okay this is how it looks like with the screen and the camera obviously the screen and the camera they're not included into this uh, auction the link is on eBay this is the battery it's got a physical on off switch off on that's how it starts it's got five modes this is the normal cinematic mode hold on this is the normal cinematic mode where it follows the pitch and the pan right. it's got this is another pitch fan, pitch fan follow. Let's see, mode number two. This is mode number two. It's a more fasty follow, including roll follow, like that. <coughs> mode number three is just pitch follow, but a sporty pitch follow. Uh, the modes, you change them from this button here conveniently placed at your belly this one okay that's it really this is entirely built by me well half built by me the motors have been changed to the hollow shaft more powerful ones I built this focus puller because it's essential what can I say the link will be on eBay no it's okay you can do a lot of things with this gimbal, including like filming 90 degrees up, or you can just invert it, have it like that. For some reason, if you want to do shots like this, like a vlogging thing, I know it's huge, it's big, it's amazing. It's been amazing, and it still is. Another cool feature is it's got a Manfrotto quick release plate, so you can pop the camera off it and straight onto a Manfrotto tripod. Right, this gimbal comes with a beautiful hardcore pelican case uh, slash stand for it. These things are a bunch of PVC pipes and this is some foam that I made up um, to use as a stand. It's working really good so far I've used it in a lot of places and it kind of made sense right uh, the gimbal comes with one focus gear this one here another focus gear in case you're using more lenses a balanced charger lipo charger two batteries this is the original one that I've taped these uh, bar thingies on the battery so they don't slide in usage um, the power cord for the charging um, machine <laughs> charging adapter. This is the second battery. This is a Multistar 4000 amp, 4000 milliamp batteries. The monitor is not included. The camera is obviously not included. These were in this clip for demonstration purposes only. Uh, the link will be um, in the description. There'll be a, a um, Facebook market link and a eBay link for all you interested uh, the price is really good I think it's amazing for a beginner slash semi pro this is how it all looks neatly packaged in its uh, flight case like I said super strong pelican style flight case, flight case. Uh, it's also a trolley so that's highly convenient. 
you just pull the handle out and just wheel it everywhere. One important thing that I forgot to mention is uh, because I was building this thing and I got a, I'm kind of like a DJI uh, fan. I was inspired by the DJI Movi that had Bluetooth connectivity, so hence now this thing. In order for you to set it up, um, all you need to do is connect it. And yes, it runs on a Mac. All you need to do is connect it to this little piece of software called Simple BGC. Uh, on a Mac, it's like a Java um, executable. How do you say it? Executable. A Java executionist. And it's right here. You click on that. You select it from here. Like the device. It's usually, if your Bluetooth is on, and you've paired before, it's usually selected by default. Click connect here, and that's it. Now, this will be a bit hard for me to do it with both hands, but see those arrow moving, arrows moving? That's because it tells you in real time what this gimbal does. Uh, you got a lot of settings here, but these ones really represent like three years of fine tuning and I kind of made it so it just works out of the box this is the real-time uh, data so like if I move it you can see it see there on that graph you can see stuff happening there it's quite like I made it so it's quite steady like I said, after all, I was running after a car, and I might include I might include that shot. Here. This is hard with two hands. So I was running after a car, and it still behaved so nice. Ah, this piece of software works on a Windows machine. Also, it's actually an installer on a Windows. It's kind of a bit more comfortable, I guess. This bar is extendable. You've got like these little screws here that you can open and then stuff goes in and out okay I'm selling it because I bought this one right here this is a Zion Crane 2 